Next to skate the Canadian champions, Megan Duhamel and Eric Bradford, and here's what they had to say about taking to center ice in London. Right before we skate and when they're announcing our names, I'd have to say that I feel like the world is about to end. <laughs> but, uh, you know, me and Megan, I look into Megan's eyes and I kind of calms me down and, and I know that we've done all the work that we need to do and we are ready to do it. Things have been going according to plan for Megan Duhamel and Eric Ranford. The Canadian champion skated a career best in the short program of Wednesday and heading into London they spoke about what it would take for them to get on the podium and they told us they would have to have two flawless skates. Well they have one in their back pocket. Let's see now if they can get another. Eric was talking about one of them is just plain old butterflies. It's good to get that first element in, and this one's consistent. Triple twist. And the reason that they're sitting in second place right now is because of this next element. Only team in the world to do it side by side triple ones. just in case it wasn't exciting enough. Two throws, throw triple loop.
to turn off your mind. Don't think about how close you are to the end. Trust your training, and here we go. Trusted it enough. What a show the Canadian teams are putting on at home today. Do Evelyn Radford make a good case for being on the podium today in London? That took every ounce of energy that they had. They just stayed focused and mentally strong, and at the end, had nothing left. Well, Megan Duhamel and Eric Ranford looking to become the first team since Dubay and Davison to win a medal at the World Championships. And if it happens, it'll be on the strength of their technical difficulty. Here comes the Lutzes. They did it in the short and that repeated it in better. the long, and that was even better than warm-up. Fantastic. And so they maximize the points for their jumps. They get almost seven points for the triple Lutzes. This combination... Triple sow, double toe, double toe. We'll watch the review. Not clean, um, but 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 quite difficult with, because it was in combination. And quite difficult is right. There's so much energy and emotion going on. Eric working hard to get that lift up into the air. And it looks as though uh, the judges have reviewed their triple sow, double toe combination. And there has been a downgrade on the triple sow. So it takes it down from a base value of five and a half to four and a half points. So not getting the points they needed there, but everything else, Kirk, yep. was, was virtually nailed. So they'll be looking for a score of 126 points or higher to move into first place ahead of their Canadian teammates, Christopher Moore Towers and Dylan Moskovich. That was a fight. That was a fight. Yep. There's lots of good stuff. But lots of good stuff. stuff. Yeah, she's yeah. echoing and her. And there's a look at uh, Dylan and Kirsten, who had a fantastic free skate just a few moments ago. A new season's best for the Canadians. They did their job today. So they will move into first place with three teams left to skate. Thank you. 